I have seen a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of sunrises in Guatemala here in Lake Atitlan. But this, this is without the doubt the best sunrise I've seen. Good morning guys from St. Marcos here in Lake Atitlan. We woke up today at around 5.30 in the morning to go ahead and catch sunrise here. And fortunately, the clouds all cleared out and that was probably one of the most beautiful sunrises I've ever seen. All three volcanoes are completely clear. You can see there's no clouds covering them at all and the sun it was just one of the most beautiful sunrises. We saw that transition from that purplish color to that orange yellow color to now the full sun finally up. I love how the lake is slowly waking up. When I first came here, there was nobody. And then slowly there were some fishing boats that started you know, going around doing their daily fishing. And then after that, some of the ferry boats started and collecting people around the lake to bring them to the different towns around here. But it's just absolutely magnificent. And the best part is the weather today is so clear that I can already see volcanoes Aquetenango and Fuego, which are super, super far away. And one of the volcanoes was erupting just now. There is no better way to catch a sunrise than seeing a volcano erupting when you're here on a lake and there are three dead volcanoes right here in front of you. The weather is completely clear and you have the most perfect sunset on your left side. This pier right here is one of the smaller piers in San Marcos. Right over there actually, that pier right there is the main public pier. So if you're gonna come to San Marcos, that's the pier you're gonna get to. This is just a little abandoned pier, I would say. You can tell there's just a bunch of like tree branches just laying around, um, but it's absolutely stunning. I mean, any of the piers along this coast, you're gonna have an absolutely amazing view. But I love this pier because you've got some of the sort of lake grass on this side, and it's just peaceful. It's super, super quiet, except for that dog that's barking right over there. But you can see Lake Atitlan's waking up, you can see the birds flying around, you can see the fishermen going on their daily routes. It's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. Now I have to mention that even though this has been like the perfect sunrise and everything is beautiful, there's one thing, I mean it's not unique to San Marcos, it's all across the lake, but there's one thing that's really frustrating about Lake Atitlan. It's the mosquitoes. They are absolutely vicious here and luckily i'm wearing all like long pants long shirts so none of them are attacking me but if i were wearing shorts and a t-shirt they are vicious like they will attack you so if you're gonna be here either bring like a sweater and pants or bring a lot of repellent because these mosquitoes they are so so powerful and they will not give up trying to attack you but anyways, it's really, really cold, so I would suggest bringing more layers here on the Gatit line. You're about 1,700 meters above sea level, so it is a little bit colder. And the mosquitoes are like literally right here. They're all flying around. There's like seven, eight of them right here. It's insane. The mosquitoes here are just really, really annoying. But once again, there was another eruption over there at the volcano. It's beautiful. I cannot believe that the view from San Marcos is just absolutely stunning. But today we are leaving San Marcos. So we're gonna head over to a bigger town here in Lake Atitlan. Like I said, we're gonna be jumping around Lake Atitlan to visit some of the main towns here. So San Marcos is beautiful, but unless you're really, really into yoga, vegan food and spiritual healing, you're, you don't need to stay here longer than a day. So we're gonna pack up our stuff and then we are going to head out and get ready to leave San Marcos.
Well, the entire town of San Marcos has officially woken up. We've gotten all our stuff and now we're heading down to the docks. cost about 25 quetzales. We finally made it to our next and last town in here in Lake Atitlan. This is Panahashel. All right, for most people, Panahashel is the first stop they come to when they come to Lake Atitlan. It's right on the highway, it's easy to get to, which means for us, it's easy to get out of Lake Atitlan. But we're actually not gonna explore Panahashel today. We're gonna do that tomorrow because we've got two days here. But today, there's actually a waterfall that's up near the road that leads towards Panahashel. It's gonna be a pretty long hike, but it's on the highway itself, so it won't be too bad. It's supposed to be about an hour away from the city, so let's go ahead and get started with the hike. Well guys, about an hour's walk, literally just an hour walk outside of Panahashel, along the highway, completely uphill, we finally made it. I don't think this place has a name, but it's a famous, famous waterfall here in Panahashev. That was a pretty hard hike up to get here, but it's pretty straightforward. It's just one highway all the way uphill until you get to this waterfall, which you can see from Pana, it looks pretty far, but it's just an hour's walk away. It is hot, I am sweating, so I'm gonna go in and take a quick dip. I don't know what it is about water here in Lake Atitlan, but my feet are like numb from how cold that water is. It is like icy cold. It's really, really cold. Luckily, we've got the sun out, so it's not too bad. But that water, that is really, really like that's ice cold water, fresh from the top of the mountain. It doesn't get much better than that. Super, super refreshing. I feel refreshed and we're gonna continue on our way up the highway. Well, about a five, 10 minute walk from the waterfall, just a little bit more uphill. We've come to one of the best viewpoints here in Lake Atitlan. This right here is Mirador San Jorge. Now the reason this place is called Mirador San Jorge is because just down here is another one of those towns that surrounds the lake. It's the town of San Jorge. We're not going to go inside, there's apparently not much to see from what I understand. But you can see the entire town of Panhachel, which is where we arrived this morning. It's not a very big town. All the towns around Lake, lake Atitlan are all pretty small. But the best part here is the view. You've got the volcanoes behind me. You can see those huge triangular shapes. And something I've noticed, especially from up here, the water, it's so turquoise blue. It's beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. Um, but this place is just stunning. The clouds are starting to move in just a little bit. You're starting to see a few dark clouds moving into that sort of blue patch of sky here. So hopefully it's not gonna rain anytime soon. But this is a beautiful viewpoint. Just about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes away from Panahashel. Hello, come here. No, don't go. Don't go, come here. Well guys, I had mentioned earlier that it was gonna rain and sure enough, it rained. What I didn't realize was that it was gonna rain for the next like 
said it's been raining for like six hours now. And this, where there's no way we're gonna catch the sunset. This rain, it's not gonna stop. It's already like 6 p.m. The sun's gonna set and the rain will still continue. So it looks like it's gonna be a rainy night, but I will say this morning, the weather at Lake Atitlan was amazing. So amazing weather in the morning and then just really, really bad weather for the rest of the day. Eh, it was a beautiful sunset, so maybe it was worth it. But I guess that's gonna be it for our first day here in Panahashel. Don't worry, we're gonna actually explore the town of Panahashel tomorrow. Um, but this town is beautiful from what I've seen so far. The waterfall was amazing, the little viewpoint was amazing, and obviously the sunrise today was just exceptional. But we finally made it to Panahashel. This is our last stop here in Lake Atitlan, and I can't wait to continue sharing this beautiful place, this bucket list, honestly, a bucket list location in Guatemala. Make sure to stay tuned, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you guys on the next one, so make sure to stay tuned, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.